Gang, the middle class famous tour is about to be in full effect. Woo! Come out and see us. It's a great way to introduce some new people to the show. So grab the homies, grab the ladies, the birds, the bozos, everybody, and come see us. Yeah, guys, we're going to be in Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. We ain't done yet. Detroit, Denver, Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, then over there to Roseman. And that's just the first leg of the tour. Going to be coming, so get the techies. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy or to just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antony's basement. She's upstairs. She's all excited. She loves the winter. Yeah. Big fan of the winter, or she calls it slip and fall season. <laughs> <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? According to the gossip rags, he left quite the tip at Minetta Tavern this weekend <laughs> and then was whisked away to dance the night away with Jeff Bezos and Kim Kardashian over there at Oak One. The kid's a fucking player. Look out. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. And then obviously, the greatest website of all time, uh, patreon.com slash are you garbage. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. A whole different podcast you might not even know about called Hard Feelings. Yeah. Me and the big man and T-Bone, a little behind the curtains. Who let the hairs down. That's like a real HR type thing. It's the airing of grievances. Uh, and obviously, live streams every month as well for our top tier patrons. Check it out. Of course, and I'm having a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire, and he does the weather on the twos. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. It's Toby McButtons, everybody. Hey. What up? T-Bone. I'm excited to have the sensei of garbage back in the Yes, room. sir. Because, <laughs> gang, we got a little company in the building. He's family at this point. Yes, this is the third time, time back. He's our, uh, he, he's our rich cousin from the coast. He lives out there in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Regis Fieldman? I know you took a plane here, but you have I took the bus across country. Vibes. I have taken the bus uh, <laughs> quite a distance in my time. The mega bus, as they call it. <laughs> they, I mean, I was having mega bus flashbacks coming here because I've been at that 34th Street stop uh, where they just drop you. Like, here's the stop. There's no station. They just drop there's, you like 30. It's like 34th Street and like 18th Avenue. There's no sign. It's a pole. Mm -hmm. It's a pole. It's just that says, like Philadelphia yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you line up there. And you're like, is this the one to Philly? Like, this is going to Chicago. You're like, what? Yeah. Oh, my bam. God. Yeah, no. And going to like Buffalo. So it's nine hours on the mega bus through Syracuse, through all the fun towns, like, Binghamton. You know what's real tragic is when you're on the bus and you stop at a rest stop at, with the whole bus. Oh, that's and you act like you're a family. You're like, oh, you're doing Wendy's. I was going to do Roy Rogers. It's so fucking. Hang tragic. on, there's still two more in the bathroom. Give yeah. them a couple of minutes. I told Sally we wait for them. That really is where you bond with your fellow bus mates because you're like, oh, how was the line over at uh, you know Dunkin' Donuts? Uh -huh. And they tell you they're like, I didn't even go there. I was like, I just took a, a, a shit, you know. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the host of the Josh Potter Show, Mr. Josh Potter. Hey. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank Look you out. for having There's me. There's also back. too, you, you really put a lot of trust in the guy next to you because you're like, don't let this fucking bus leave without me, pal. You're like, oh. make sure, make sure I'm fucking back. Trying to sneak in the 80s real quick. Have you had the, uh, have you had the bus driver that's like a real bus Nazi where he's like. And if you're not back, uh, yeah. In 15, this bus is gone. Oh yeah, oh, laying down the, laying down the rules for it. What you. happens if you miss it? You're fucking. You gotta wait till the you know wait six hours till the next the bus next probably. day probably. Yeah. I mean, shit. Buy some cologne and a watch or whatever. They got, <laughs> that was the question I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask you what is the what's the longest bus, bus? trip you ever took? Um, Nine hours. I mean, that's like that's like a Paul Simon song. That's that was insane. every every time I came to New York from Buffalo. It was either. I upgraded at some point to the train. I discovered the train. <laughs> I and discovered I was, the train. I I thought you meant like you and he didn't mean he bought a ticket. He was jumping on the back. <laughs> I thought you meant upgraded on the mega bus. You brought oh, the no. shotgun? I've uh, done that. Pay for the extra preferred seating. What do you, what's preferred seating? You get to choose your seat. 
Uh, I think you get to board first, choose your seat. It's like an extra 18 cents. It's like, why don't you do it? How I many was, miles you get on that in your the, card? There was a time I went onto the Megabus. <laughs> and cash only. There was, it was full. And like people like were hogging. They were putting like their luggage on seats. And I was like, where do Dude, I sit? Dude, people move in. Yeah, and I was like, where should I sit? I asked the bus driver. I'm like, there's nowhere to sit. And she was like, Ugh. And then she went, got up, and took her luggage out of the seat behind her and put it like in the rack. Uh-huh. And go sit there, and I go. You were you were hogging a seat. <laughs> you're the, you fucking work your own luggage. <laughs> it's fucked up. She made you first mate. It was the you best fucking... seat too. Yeah, it was like not amongst the ne'er do wells. It was <laughs> the <laughs> trashiest one. Is the one on the second floor looking out. In the I front. like that. Oh, you sit there. You're trash. You feel like you're on the Enterprise, dude. Oh, you're that's... fucking cooking up. There. I feel like I'm gonna get ejected <laughs> through it. It's like you're on the bridge of the Cornelia that Marie, is... dude. You're yeah. fucking. <laughs> you're cooking. <laughs> Yeah. You're like the Titanic uh, <laughs> captain where he's just staring out. You have a cup of tea, <laughs> sipping it. <laughs> no, one of the last times I took it, I was going to Philly for a show from New York, uh, Megabus. I was a Megabus man, and uh, the cops were on. The cops came on the bus before he even left. Because the same thing, a woman didn't want to move her luggage to let another woman sit there. And then it was really just to prove a point. They were like, yeah. Miss, you can sit over here. She's like, I want to fucking sit there. And they're like, the guy's like, I'm just going to call the cops. They're like, call them. I'm like, well, if I'm not making this show. It was like fucking 45 minutes. Uh, doesn't happen in the Amex lounge at fucking LaGuardia. I no, it that. does not. That's fucking. But I, uh, when I, when I found Amtrak. Amtrak, that's, that's fucking expensive. It's real expensive. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Amtrak? What, were you riding on the roof? What do yeah. you mean? <laughs> it was like $30. <laughs> really? No. Well, no I way. think that well, there's one from Philly to New York to Philly that's like it's like a it's like a, it's like a ticket to Miami, dude. It's like 180 bucks. No yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, I guess well, it, it depends does, it's where like you're coming from. It's like 53 minutes. Yeah. It's like super quick, and it's like first class or whatever, or like business. Like well, yeah, if you get business, well, that's what I I'm learning now. I uh, I take the Amtrak from L.A. to San Diego quite a bit, which is beautiful, by the way. You go down, you see the ocean. It's the best. View even the Amtrak here is pretty nice. Or yeah, it's uh you know go through the woods and shit. Mm-hmm. But when you get business class, you get that business class lounge. Yes, which is not like the United Lounge or the Delta Lounge. It's just a coffee machine. Yeah, it's and, just a de- another set of seats, and you don't have to sit with hobos mm-hmm. and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you just get to you get like oh people with pants, cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just less dicks. That's yeah, all it is. nobody shit themselves in here. But I never found it that expensive. But maybe like I said, coming from. Philly to New York has got to be an Amtrak that that's is like high a, demand. Yeah, it's yeah. like a hub to hub type thing. Right. You take the train a lot out there. Yeah, to go to San Diego especially, and I took it a lot out here too. I was taking it from Buffalo to DC to. Uh, you when know. you were working on the road, you were stationed out of Buffalo. Yeah, but I, and I didn't want to drive. To DC, there's even a train that does <laughs> that's that. Fucking nuts. You go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> got to stop in Chile for. You got to go all the way to New York <laughs> and then come through New York and go. It's not a great route, but if you can't afford Depends a plane ticket. Depends what the Panama Canal's like. <laughs> what time you hit it? Yeah. Could be a lot of traffic. I feel like you're riding freight train suicide. <laughs> I know, dude. He's got a stick with a bindle on it. <laughs> Hell He's yeah. got his merch, his Josh Potter merch in there. I sell. I also sell bindles Pina-pole guitar. At my show. <laughs> Uh, I bet you could start a fire in a barrel really, really good. Get, get that yeah. thing cooking. I just use my glasses. <laughs> the sun hits him just yeah. right. <laughs> the hobos thought he was a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever jumped a train in, in your youth? Uh, I have, ju- like, not for very far because, like, it started getting going and I was like, <laughs> oh, God. And then what? I had to try and get off. <laughs> Are you going to be home for dinner? <laughs> yeah, I got See scared. you around, fellas. I got scared. I'm like, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Just hopping random trains. <laughs> I was goofing off after school and ended up in Indiana. We didn't, yeah, we didn't even think about the like ramifications. It was we going like, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I literally love the thought of I'm gonna get on that thing and then you're on there. Where's this going? Yeah, we're like, <laughs> I gotta get off. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't think this through. Yeah, how long are you supposed to ride it when you jump on it like that? <laughs> I don't know. I've never done Until it. Until the heat blows over. I don't know. <laughs> you're, supposed to, you're supposed to go out west we also... and start gold mining. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? You're changing your life. You're Become a prospector. Yeah. Yeah. We did the Shit. thing, too, where you put the penny on it. And that you're was like, big. We're going to ruin this train. Like, What if it did yeah. derail? Oh, like, don't do that. God. It'll throw a train off. You're like, I'll see. Yeah. You're like seven. <laughs> rolling the dice with like 400 souls on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's like the 
Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> if you're talking in souls, that's bad news. Because you don't think there's anybody on the train because you just think there's like cows or hay or whatever they're lugging I've never around. looked at a train and thought there was cows or hay. I don't know what they have on there. <laughs> Probably all zebras. What do you think's on there? I don't know. Boxes? Crates of, uh, I thought crates of animals, you know, I don't know. Like uh, <laughs> That's not Noah's Ark. <laughs> it's like a cartoon. <laughs> There's like a gorilla in there. <laughs> Potter thinks everyone's the circus train. <laughs> yeah. A lot of circuses in town this week, huh? That's the elephant car. <laughs> Giraffe's heads are sticking out. It's usually oil and shit like that. Fucking oil, oh. cargo. Mm-hmm. I don't know, they've been henpicking over there in... Uh, in, in L.A. in the train. Oh, yards. my God. I uh, I sent my mom a Christmas present in January uh, That because it was that Real late. Real top-notch son yeah. over here. And son so of the year. I told her. I'm like, it's coming late. And what was it, if you don't mind me asking? Did you blame the supply chain on it? This is... Oh, dude, the it supply was... chain's been getting fucking <laughs> bad. Do bad mouth in my apartment. Hardcore. I... Uh, my gift for my mother was a podcast sponsor, uh, so I think that's like, is that trash to give my mom like a free podcast yeah, sponsor yeah, gift? What? what was it? A Helix An mattress? Aura frame. An aura frame. What's oh, I that? thought you were going to shout her out on the on the pod. It was, <laughs> like, shout she out to, she no, was no. going to be one of the sponsors. Our what next I, sponsor. Gang, this podcast is brought to you by my mom. It's Patricia Potter. One of my sponsors <laughs> is this company, Aura Frames. It's like a digital picture frame thing where you can upload pictures into it. And I they sent we, me I like think they also might sponsor us. Well, they sent me five and they sent you five. I kept I got like five. I, all of a sudden I'm like, I have two. And so I sent one to my aunt, my mom, my and uh, You're looking like a big shot, I guess. But I don't want them all to know that I got them for free. I want them to think I purchased these, you know, <laughs> send oh, them a fake a, receipt. But I don't even know. They won't even talk to it. That's the great thing. Like the aunt that I sent it to doesn't really talk to my mom. My mom won't talk to my my dad's wife. So they don't know that they all got these or a sure, friend. That's pretty good, though. I'll give you that. It's not a bad little setup. It's a nice little scam. Yeah. What well, the heck? The sisters don't talk. The they're not aunts. sisters. They're uh, like Outside, cr- cross. Yeah. Sister and what is it? A laws. Yeah. Okay. Or exes. Ex sister in laws. So I've kept it all pretty. <laughs> they all think they've got a special yeah, aura. Clean up all your loose ends, Pop. Yeah. yeah. I made sure the aura frame doesn't poison. I had to kill an Amazon driver, but other than that, I think I'm in the clear. Don't you say, oh, fuck it. Yeah. If not, I hopped a train to the East Coast. But I did. I sent it. Uh, it was like two weeks after Christmas. I felt. I told my mom, I'm like, you're getting it late because I don't know. I wasn't around to, uh, during Christmas time, but sh- she didn't care. And then I saw the that footage of the trains in LA where like the packages are all Getting demolished yeah. and I knew my mom had seen this footage <laughs> sure. and she is already she was calling my sister being like I'm not going to be home when the package is supposed to come can you go wait at the house I'm like my sister goes what are you sending her that I got to go wait at the house uh, yeah a, f- it's a free frame that I got <laughs> yeah I told her I'm like it's not a big deal I go I got another one if it gets lost <laughs> I'll resend it I got a whole room full of yeah, these yeah. fucking things <laughs> It's still not there yet. No, it it arrived, but in but my sister was like, "I'm not go- so I don't have to go sit at the house and wait for this." I go, "No, don't even if someone steals it off her porch or if it never gets there, I'll send another one. It's fine." That is the one thing, man. You get mad about that shit, but they do just send you another one. I just had a fucking vacuum stolen from our a lobby. vacuum vacuum off the porch. Out of our, I mean, a port. I don't have a porch, but uh, oh. in the lobby. <laughs> Off the porch. Yeah. I forget where we are. Yeah. <laughs> I even have a porch. Yeah, it was right next to my rocking chair. You believe that? <laughs> <laughs> they took the wind chimes and all. You got to put a screen up out there. Any town Keep USA. Keep the riffraff out. Yeah. I have an apartment that's in like a complex, but it's more like Melrose Place. Sure. Where it's like we, ha- we have a small like stoop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah for sure, for thing. sure. So there's no, like, ha- hallway or whatever, but I get that. The hallway, the culprits are in your building. Well, right? that's what I was saying, <laughs> the culprits. The culprits. <laughs> I, well, that's like that, so that's what we were like, uh, you I know. I agree with that 100%, by the way. That they're in the they building. They have to be. 100%. Well, that's, they were like, we can pull the tapes, because, you know, because uh, we were gone for a night or something. We were in Philly, I think, or we were down the shore. Pull the tapes? Well, they were like... I've never pulled the tapes before. I would love to do that, but, even uh, for I would love yes, to pull the but tapes. But then I didn't want to, because I'm like, I don't want to find out it's someone in the building, and then I have to hate them for like 150 bucks. That's, yeah, I'm like, you're that's, crazy. That's going to ruin the rest of... I'm going to think about that all you gotta, day, every you, day. Dude, look at... They replaced check it. Check the tapes. No, they replaced it. Fucking blow the case wide That's very open. big of you, and Fuck it shows that, that just, you're not sweating cash right now. 
Well, no, they're replacing it. No, that's my point, though. But like, I oh, wouldn't for one hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. I would have been like, what, what if they take more shit from? Yeah, me? dude, you got to you got listen. No, that's a cancer in the building. You got to find them. You got to publicly embarrass them. Then you got to toss them out on there. You don't even have to do way. anything. Just know who it is, and then you secretly, when you see the other neighbors, you go. You know, 404 over there? <laughs> some real sticky I fingers. Would keep an eye. Yeah, watch your packages. Cleanest carpet in the building. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I just didn't want to fucking... I, I just don't... I don't need Fuck that in that. my life. As I'm also wildly insane. So it would be... You know what I mean? It would just You'd be a... you start gr- doing sh- shit that you don't even really want to do. You know, yes. like you're doing things to fuck with him. Yes, exactly. And I'm like, I'd be like leaving packages out to like see if I can catch him again type thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're leaving packages that are like anthrax. Yeah. <laughs> you're setting booby traps yeah. of bleach and ammonia. <laughs> yeah, it's like Ted Kaczynski's. There's just nails and stuff that's inside what, of it. That's like, what it's going to turn to, yeah. <laughs> turn Let him steal Riddler. this one. Send him a yeah. pipe bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start leaving little notes. <laughs> oh. Ah, that's, dude, you're, cr- you, dude. You got, yeah, that's an irresponsible citizen right there, to be honest with you. Uh, my, man, Think I'm about the going, thousands the of dollars. Because you're not just fucking... D- Listen, you get your hands on a vacuum cleaner, then you got a taste for it. They're not walking away from that life. These people that steal the packages... How do Such they, a fucking scumbag move. It's a scumbag move, and... They don't know what's in these fucking That's things. That's what I don't get. You know how many? You know how many just like horribly cheap pieces of shit things I've ordered, and then like what they're yeah. doing. Somebody makes out with like a three dollar t shirt. Oh, doesn't cool! Fit you them? stole a yeah a hoodie. Congratulations! Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they must sometimes get like jackpot. Well, or that you, might you be the rush. Like, yeah, you, know? you end up with like an electronic <laughs> or something. Yeah. yeah, that's probably the rush. Or vacuum cleaner. Oh, look yeah, at this guy. Shit. But they're getting they're getting smarter because we had a couple empty boxes downstairs. And I, my girl's like, what the fuck is this? She's like, it was a cat bowl. And then like two days later, she looked over in the other packages and they had zipped it and fucking just put it when they saw it was a mm. was a cat bowl. Oh, so they repackage it again? No, they just threw the package that was inside the Amazon box to the side. <laughs> so it's like they look through it now. Yeah. yeah. So I guess so they don't look shifty walking out with an Amazon box. They give it a quick zip. Oh, it takes us a zip. Do your key. Use your keys. Yeah, yeah sure. That tape's bullshit anymore. Yeah. Tape's fucking bullshit. Let's go, Bezos. Fucking tighten up security a little bit. I don't know how packages live here because it's all wet and rainy and snowy all the time. Like, even in L.A., it, snow- it rains like once in a while and you get a box and it's like the bottom of it. You pick it up and like the bottom falls out. You know, you ever yeah, have yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't really have that here. That's weird. What's in there? <laughs> the integrity of jello? the boxes are. Yeah. <laughs> Box of water. Box of water. Um, all right. Let's. Oh, I wanted to mention, too, this is a real trashy thing that uh, me and Potter went out boozing the other night. Ah, and, yeah. uh, what did I do? No, it was, it's a me thing. <laughs> oh. it's, a, it's all me. It's all me. Uh, what did I mean, see how that, that's, an, that's like I got scared of like, anxiety. Oh, yeah. God. What I'm did sorry, I do? I phrased that wrong. Uh, he took his pants off, running down 13th Street. Um, I did bum two cigarettes from Kevin. I thought that's where it was going. No, no, by all means. Um, please. Looking for it. I need a, I need a Bernie buddy when I'm out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, that stink I, really stays on you when you go inside uh, in this yeah. cold weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like the best. Come in like the marble. He goes, man. it's the best. <laughs> smoking weed or smoking cigs in the cold is like. Oh, I hate it. Oh. It's too cold. I love it. Smoking cigs in the heat is disgusting. The heat, yeah, there's a there's a happy medium. You know, you know what I don't nice like? 72. But when something. you walk back into that restaurant after having a fucking heater outside, everybody knows it. I think that's wonderful. <laughs> I think it's cozy. Let them know the man's. You yeah, marking your territory. You think that's cozy? I, the, in the winter when you smoke and you blow out the smoke, it's so satisfying for it to be just this epic plume. It's almost like you're one of these vape idiots where yeah. you got the fucking thing. But then when you're smoking and it's like 90 and uh. hot, you're like, and there's nothing and you're like, Oh God! I just feel hot. Yeah, hotter. Feels in like my you're body. like next to the fucking engine of a car. You're just yeah. sweating. You get, a little, <laughs> yeah. you get a little sweat on there. Ugh, man, it's, it's gross. Tough. But what happened? I... Uh, remember when I was leaving? We were we were at uh we were at the uh the stand comedy club, and I was leaving, and they had closed, oh, and yes. my cred they had my credit card, and I was like, oh shit! But like the staff is you like shut the joint down. The staff is like gone at this point. We know the manager. I was talking to the manager, and I'm like, he's like, oh yeah, you know, here you go. So he hands me my card. We go, we have another beer at another bar, and then I, I leave. I go to use my card the next morning. It's not working. I'm like, oh, that's strange. Here, this is how big of a piece of trash I am. It was the card I left there eight months ago, and I canceled and just never went back and picked up. Oh, so they still have your current They still one? have my current credit card and gave me mine from eight months ago. Holy shit. I was just like, I can't call them back and be like, hey, 
You gave me the other one I left there. You know what I mean? So I'm oh. not paying either tab. <laughs> yeah. I'm know. having a hard time with cards after COVID. It's like I've regressed to being 23. I have lost my fourth debit card in three months. Yeah, you can't see them. Just <laughs> like I, 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 that literally was the problem. I was in Milwaukee last week, right before I came here, and left the debit card and took the room key. <laughs> I got to the airport and took <laughs> the room key out of my wallet. I go, to buy oh, breakfast God. With a Holiday Inn Express key card. Yeah. <laughs> it was really sad. And I go, oh, my God, I got to go to New York. So I can't, I go, I'll have, I, I thought I'd have the hotel in Milwaukee mail my debit card to the, the hotel, hotel here. here. Mm-hmm. So when I got here, Will I could. they do that for you? Well, they'll mail it, but. So I in thought like if they'll mail it to weeks. my house, they can mail it. I don't, I don't know how long it would take. You're right. <laughs> it's just, just following them all around the country. <laughs> but hey, I... go to Pittsburgh when you get there. Kip, let's talk about Manscaped. Manscaped. Now, as we know, when you're taking care of downstairs, the lower levels, mm-hmm. Manscaped is your trusted friend. Subterranean. That's exactly right. That's where you go to. Uh-huh. When you're digging out the cellar, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're trying to put down some concrete. You need good equipment. That's right. But here's the good news. What's that? They're up in the game. Mm-hmm. They got the old ultra premium Ooh. collection that's literally going to take care of you from head to toe. Are you talking about an all-in-one skin and hair kit? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about joining the four million men Woo. that are already involved. Love that money. So let's rock and roll. Yes. Go to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code GARBAGE. Yeah. They were nice enough to send it to me Woo. when I was supposed to give half of it to you. You son of a oh, bitch. buddy, but I'm dancing all over the place. In now, my I wonder apartment. why your smell's so good feeling like you got an extra pep in your step. You're, about to, you're all manscaped up. You're about to slip off the chair over there. I got you cooked. This guy's high on the premium ultra collection. Yes. Uh, they got premium deodorant, uh, hydrating body spray, body wash, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Top to bottom, they take care of you. So you get 20% off plus free shipping with code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code garbage at manscaped.com. The power of attraction is now in a bottle thanks to Manscaped. There do you it. go. Do it. Kippy, let's talk about Bespoke Post, baby. Box of awesome. Box of awesome winter time i'm thinking hmm, what's inside bunch of cool stuff bunch of stuff from small businesses bunch of stuff from 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 from, from actual people yeah cool stuff sure that's right baby it could be outdoor gear Mm -hmm. could be grooming stuff could be stuff for the home bar you want to do yourself a favor this winter and pick up a box of awesome from the good people at bespoke post you sure do turn the canadian there for a hot second (laughs) what do you doing you hoser (laughs) guys it's cool guy shit you don't know you need until you see you go i want that where are you gonna get your grill tools you butthead so so get involved they sent us a whole bunch of shit great we got the bag i got a knife you got a tent we got a we got a hammock we got everything. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Free to sign up. You can skip a month or cancel at any time. Want to hear the best part about it? What's Each that? box only costs 45 beans. But what's in it? $70 worth of gear. <laughs> Uh, as the big man said, you're supporting small business with the uh, when you when you enroll in the subscription, you can cancel yes. any time. The whole nine yards get 20 percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code garbage at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com code garbage for 20 percent off your first box. Do it, do it. I land though back in L.A. and I have 300 dollars charged my card for Sheen.com or Sheen.com, which is like some chicks. Uh, it's like cheap, cheap, cheap ladies' clothing. Cheap yeah. chicks' uh, clothing. Yeah. So. I cancel it. Now I have to come to New York and check into a hotel without a car. <laughs> and it was like trying to, I don't know. It was, it was like trying to make butter out of nothing. Did they make you put cash of, down? No, they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me do <laughs> He's mad they wouldn't. I wanted what to do What do you mean cash. you don't take holiday in? Finally, I got them to give me a credit card <laughs> authorization form and I could fill it out, but it was like- You had to fill out like you had to write your number down? Yeah, and I had so to your get- your card's still active. No, I had to get a- well, See, with Chase Bank, when you cancel your card, they put the new one on your phone. So I could Ooh. use the phone thing, you know, That's the reader? That's pretty good. There you go. And, they but, wouldn't take that. They, they wanted. They don't scanner. have that. Yeah, they the need reader. the physical fucking bullshit. And I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" I can walk up to an ATM right now and use this fucking thing. I can go to any store, but I can't check into the hotel. The room's paid for, but I can't put my incidentals on this. That yeah. And now I have to go to two more hotels without a debit card. I'm like dreading it. Can you go pick up a debit card at the place? No, who do you? No, have? because they don't. Chase doesn't do the temporary cards. Uh. Their their uh, solution is. Oh, we updated on your app right away. I get that. That it that does help you out of a pinch, but I guess if you're going to fucking 
Yeah, if you're in the metaverse, it ain't gonna fucking work. Right. I'm yeah. like, yeah, exactly. I need a physical card to get around. Plus, my OnlyFans accounts are expiring, <laughs> and I can't. It's only fan account. <laughs> All my OnlyFans subscriptions, they're expiring. How the many, the how girls many... are going to think I've abandoned them. <laughs> how many subscriptions <laughs> we have? I got a family to support here. <laughs> I honestly, well, here's the thing. During the COVID times, I, they got high, the numbers of subscriptions. Like six? Like 12. Whoa. Jesus. Yeah, like I was really in, I thought I was supporting the arts. And so... Busy boy. But huh? also, it got out of hand. It got out of Read my... Read a book, will you? <laughs> yeah. It got out of my... Uh, what's Fucking the word? Control. Control over here. You know? It got out of my... I didn't know until I lost a debit card. I go, how many accounts was I? Oh, what are we, so we're not... Ta- I, I don't think you're getting into like 2 $3 an account, right? Right. You're... Well, I mean, I don't know how much they each are, but are like... Are you tipping I, on there? Oh, yeah. I start looking... It's like playing a fight. I did an audit, Played though, after machine. the last one. I, I looked. I, I go, did an audit. I go, you got to not renew this one. Just stick with the basics, and you'll be all set. It was my highest utility, though, at one point. <laughs> Only <laughs> fans. It's a write-off at the end of the month. Yeah. 1100 bucks on buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's I don't your have butthole a, provider? I, I don't have a car payment, down. so I thought, why not? You know? He gets audited. <laughs> I did a self audit because it was too high. I was Keeping like, yourself in check. I like that. <laughs> taking taking a bath on titty shots over here. Yeah. This it, guy's upside down in an OnlyFans. I like it. I get sad. I go, oh, they're going to think I've abandoned them. I'm not going to be a part of it anymore. But no, here I am. <laughs> I'm right back, ladies. I'm coming back. Just let me get my card. Damn, Five they business got their hooks days. you good. Oh, yeah, I'm a simp to the max. Oh, God. Did they even reach out to you? Like, hey, where you been? They're like friends. Some of them I convinced to make them. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, you should get on. I don't know if you know about OnlyFans, <laughs> but you should probably get on there. And they were, and a couple of them were like, thank you. This kid. 10% coming your way? No, just sometimes I get a free this or that, you know? <laughs> Good I just, dealer. I don't need any money free for samples. it. I, I'm helping the world. I'm helping the economy. You know, man, this gets twisted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. Let's get into some fucking questions here. I'm excited. Uh, guys, so as you know, when you join the Patreon, we will uh, answer your question on the air. It's the yes, best sir. way to do it. Um, we do get a bunch of people submitting fucking DMs, emails, the whole nine yards. But Patreon gets first dibs. But this one came out on Instagram. And since we were just talking about it, this is from Paul on IG. How garbage is it to check your tab at the bar? To be like, hey man, can you tell me what I'm at? Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, is it garbage? <laughs> is it garbage to check? I feel like that's something that like financially wise people probably do. Like someone who's not even drinking that much, anyways. Do you know what I, I mean? I feel like they. I feel somewhat. I think you're asking that question because you got sixty bucks on your card, and okay. you don't want to go over. Yeah, somebody who's financially savvy. Knows okay, the beer is six bucks. I've had three plus tax and tip. And they're also not worried if there is any missed charges on there. They have no problem waiting for the charges to be reversed over the five to seven business days. I th- which if that was me, that would crumble my economy. Sure, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of plate spinning. You took it out in two seconds. I gotta wait five days to get it back. What the fuck <laughs> what kind of bamboozle joint is this? Oh no, I don't like that. Trust me. But I, uh, I think it's more trash. Like to do what I would have done probably, and that is run up a crazy tab, and then they go, uh, your card was declined. <laughs> you go try this Holiday Inn Express card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about starting OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, we suppl- can we work something out here? I'll help you get it out there, get the word out. <laughs> I got a podcast. <laughs> Ten subscriptions. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, I definitely have done that. That's yeah. a real trashy move. And also asking how much something is, right? When you're looking for the cheapest beer. Yeah. You're looking for bang for your buck. And you're like, hey, how much are the Budweiser's or whatever? And they're like four. You're like, All I don't right. ask how much things. I mean, I'm, I don't drink. Uh, like opulent beers anyways. I drink sure. like a Miller Lite. So mm-hmm. it's like I always know a Miller Lite, even in the Big Apple or in L.A., it's going to be like eight bucks or something sure, like that. Sure, the like, highest end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. And then you go to Buffalo. I went to Buffalo and bought five beers, all like blue lights. And they were, they go, here's your bill. It was $11. I go, oh, no, I got all of them. Yeah. And they're like, 
No, that is. I know it's great. You feel like you go back in time. I couldn't I believe it. Yeah. I was like, still. I know That's it's nuts. crazy. I had a version of that at Trader Joe's this weekend because it was so cheap. I was like, what are you fucking an idiot? Uh-huh. This is at what Trader you're charging. Joe's, yeah, guy's a fucking bozo. <laughs> He's leaving money on Joe. You're leaving money on the table. I, don't know what the I thought is. Joe's was expensive, but I guess that now that with the others, Erewhon and all these other uh, stores, What's Joe's Arawan? come down. Oh boy, you don't know what Erewhon is. I know what heroin is. I, I, <laughs> Talk about that blue magic, John. Erewhon is such an expensive grocery store that I've actually never stepped foot into one. Really? It is How do you so spell it? E-R-E. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I, I, you said that thing. like you're the I queen, don't know I the, have never stepped E-R-E. in there. E-R-E. E-R-E. I don't really know the rest of it. It's Oom like Lau. air. E R E W O N or something. E R E W O. Is that like Raya? That fucking celebrity. I mean, W H O N. So it's E R E W H R N. Erewhon. I guess if I'm saying that, home market. They don't have them here. Nah. No, I think only L A. But it is like ooh beats. It looks. I mean, (laughs) people like who go in it say that it is the best grocery store they've ever been to. But then they say they also have a bill for like seven hundred dollars. Really, that's crazy. That should be one. That should be one of our Patreon goals. We'll go to. We'll go to go to Arawak. That's what I was saying. This is like Trader Joe's. That's twelve bucks. Yeah, they look pretty fancy. I'll give them that. That's what I'm saying. And it's got like that hot bar, you know, like where you go up in. Love a hot bar. We were just talking about them. Love a hot bar. It's like Wegmans. But like it's like a fancy on steroids. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like a, a more like a hipster. Wegmans. Right, and you're not Wegmans getting Wegmans is for soccer moms. This is for influence. You're not getting chicken wings and shit at the, or like a, a meatball sub or something at Erewhon, you know? <laughs> meatball sub. <laughs> hey, where's the Stouffer's? Yeah, you're not being able to <laughs> straighten out here. We don't like, have Stouffer's, but we do have, and then it's something you've never heard of, and it costs $85. Gold the package is made of gold. Yeah, exactly. Salt Bay's new mm. brand. Those Leafs, the gold Leafs. I hate that shit. I, wouldn't, I feel like you're biting into a filling. I've never I've actually never had it one. I've never yeah. had it. No. Scary to me. Have you ever eaten gold, Toby? Gold Schlager. Yeah. That's what I'm talking. Hey, there's gold in that, right? Yeah. Remember when you were a kid, you thought that was the fucking Oh, the gold dots? Out. I couldn't wait to eat oh, the dots. Yeah. It's the real gold. gold in there, man. I don't think I ever had it. Is it like a Rumpelman's? What's it taste like? Well, it's the opposite. Like it's like the big red. You know, if like Rumpelman's is like spearmint gum. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, cinnamon. What is that? Big red. So it's like Fireball esque? Yeah. Love Fireball. It was before Fireball. I'm like, oh, so this is Gold Schlager. Everyone's oh. like, no, 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 no. What do you, do you do? Do you do shots? I'll do. Guy? I still do like tequila every now and then when people ask me to. Because I am, if I am anything, I am peer pressure uh, susceptible all the time. So like, if a person who's like a fan wants to do a shot, I'm like, I got to. What am I going to say no and make them sad, <laughs> even though they don't care? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the classiest way, by the way, to handle the check is to just hand the card. Don't ask for the check. Oh, I never. Now that's my favorite thing to do. Now is not look at. It. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, here you go. Just and buying people dinner is my favorite thing to do. Nice. Like yeah, it's the best. Like your friends. Yeah. yeah. Feels good. Like taking care of it is like as a guy who's had people do that, where it just made me feel emasculated. So so you're doing it not to make them feel good. You're not going to make me feel good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> By them feeling bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how many times I've gone out to dinner with Tom Segura where I've gone like, thanks, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Well, at that point, it's no, it'd be stupid. You're taking your you boys to, to In-N-Out no, Burger, sure, throw sure, it in sure. their face. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey, you like that special sauce, it's don't It's you? on me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's a... Uh, there's more of a risk or reward factor when you hand it off because I'm still not confident it's coming back with a green light. No, I'm still I I I have I I haven't confidently ever swiped my debit card ever. Oh, I still ever. get PTSD moments. I feel like I'm uh, Will in the Upside Down sometimes when I'm going to swipe because then so you ever have it where Costco card <laughs> you ever have it where it doesn't work and you're like. What do you mean? And then all of a sudden I, they're like, just try it again. You're like, oh, okay, thank God. It dude, worked. I just got denied it with my old card yesterday. Oh, because the old because you didn't know it was old, your yeah. old one. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, run it again. Fucking nothing, nothing, nothing. Look at the numbers. You're yeah. like, oh shit. I Panic. Know. Yeah. But Panic. that's the thing. I've had it where it's like the reader was just bad or something. Yeah. And, I'm like, and you go into I just just three thousand yeah. dollars in that <laughs> yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> son of a bitch! You <laughs> stole I, from me. I got. I just transferred money. Sure. Oh, take it easy. The internet's slow. Relax. That's yeah, always. I always have something 
Locked and loaded for sure. There's something silly about three grown we, men. We, we all, see all drink. Yeah. Well, it's because we're talking about. I pulled it back real quick. I'm like, all right, yeah, we do it. Welcome we back were, to the show. Because we're talking about dropping checks. <laughs> well, we were talking about our debit cards getting declined. We're all like, <laughs> hey, you're a dirt bowl. You're a dirt bowl. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> to scumbags. Because, like, Good also, right. when they put the hold on your credit card at the hotel. They're all different, you know. Biggest fucking scam. Well, you still on the you use your, you don't have a credit card. You I use don't. Your no, card. I'm just getting a credit card soon uh, for my well, with business. Well, the credit card they put it back right away. That's great. They release it that like that. But that second. doesn't even mean anything to me. Like you know what I mean? Like if it's a credit card, that's what that's for. But uh, I'm yeah. saying like the debit card using that's that. That's their money. That's my money. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they're like, yeah, we'll put it like back a, next business day. day yeah. Or whatever. yeah. The next business day, that's lightning quick. No. They take a fucking week. No, it's yeah. fucking ridiculous. What they do and why is- why am I $100? What's that going to do? There's nothing in the fucking mini bar. And there's not. if I trash the room, what are you going to have, 100 bucks? It's like for the ironing board if you break it. <laughs> yeah. How about we just fucking chill out, see if everything's fucking cool. When I leave, you can check the room out. If not, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, everybody sure. walks away slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through a real quagmire of like moving funds around just to check into various hotels over the years. It's been it's like a bunch of shell corporations. Yeah, and stuff. I'm just moving things <laughs> around just to check in, get the holds off, get them back on. Call in Singapore. I, I put, need two fifty. I got to check in. I want to put just the Gatorade on this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pretzels on this one. Ooh, that's such a. Have you ever lied about room, what room you were in? I've never no. lied. I don't. I I don't have the heart to do that, I, uh, and I don't have the balls to ever put it on the room because I always think in my trash brain it's somehow going to be more expensive. Well, yeah. I'll tell I you get this. it out of my account. I'll give it to you yeah, right now. Yeah, I got the seven bucks. Take it now, and I want my two hundred back tomorrow. I'll tell you this. I have a guilty conscience also. So, but I had a friend who was like. You should just say any room number. And I was like, that doesn't work. They check and see who's staying there. And he's it's like, not like, they have a picture of you. He's like, watch. And then he, it's like the overnight guy and he does it. And I'm like, oh, God. And then you know what I did? I just said it to my friend's room. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'll give you that. That's a good time. <laughs> hey, look about the sword. You die by yeah. the sword. You know what I mean? Uh, That's yeah. a tough look. I don't have the balls to do that shit either. No, I don't like, I don't like. If it was to fuck over the hotel, I would do that. But I don't want to fuck over some guy who's staying yeah. in the. I was just, I just got I it. didn't have 12 Hot Pockets in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did, fatty. That was the fat guy next to me. <laughs> Which is about Hot Pockets? I was just, ta- I told it on the Patreon, but we went, I went on a family vacation and I was responsible for like the charges for my room. And, like, did they we- say that, by the way? Was that said to you up front? The whole by the family? Way, just so you know. You're, you, no, you- it was understood. I now, guess. Why is that? I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it publicly. <laughs> I want to play, I play dumb the, on that. You can get to a full scoop on Patreon. Get the Patreon. I want to play dumb on that one. Uh, well, it was. That's and, like being invited out to dinner, but you got to pay for the appetizer. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're family, for God's sake. Um, so I picked up a dinner. There was like 14 of us, like my whole family, nieces, nephews, the whole nine yards, right? So I picked up a dinner and, you know, there was there was an issue with this was like two weeks ago. But there was there was an issue with I had paid my credit card before I got there for this reason. So I'm like, okay. I got time to I got room to dance around and pick up a dinner and feel not like a bum that I have for the past 35 years. And uh, I then get a call the night before I was supposed to check out from the front desk. And I answered like a dickhead. I'm like, yeah, what do you want? And they're like. Your card's been declined. You have to come down. I'm oh, like, oh, fuck God. me. That yeah. is the fucking worst. I like, yeah, Jesus a very famous. Uh, crying yeah, in the lobby. It was a very nice <laughs> hotel. It was very embarrassing. Grandma's Uncle Kevin a bozo. <laughs> <laughs> we Why have does he to go to stay? a Holiday Inn because yeah. Uncle Kevin <laughs> fucked up. It was. It was not, uh, and they the worst. It, and I in my head, I'm like, ah, it probably happens all the time. You know, there's probably ten guys today that it happened. Oh, to. sure. And I got down there, and I'm like, Kevin, they're like, your car got declined, right? Like they knew exactly. Oh, who I lord. Was. I'm surprised that the hotel didn't let you put down cash. It's usually a crazy amount. It's usually like four hundred bucks. Well, yeah, yeah it would have been a, a bit. And I wonder if it's because this hotel is a nice hotel or whatever that they the the cash. You're staying been in a nice part of town too. Yeah. yeah, and it's for a long stay, so it's like. Five nights, you know what I mean? I think yeah, it would have been You would have had to put up like two grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I would have gone down the road and gotten and been like, here you go. Can I sleep now? <laughs> Christ. You know my favorite Mint Mobile? 
Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile all the way. What are you doing with these big bozos out there? Don't to kick rocks. With the hidden fees and the contracts and this and this. You know why they're so expensive? Is because they're dipping into it. They're wetting their beaks. Not Mint Mobile. Nope. Pass the savings right on to you. Tell them, Baldy. 15 a month. Let's go. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, like I said, I've said many a times before, my wife has been a user for years. She came over, signed her up. It's contract free. They send it right to your door, easy peasy. And it is really just 15 claims. It's crazy. It's wild. Uh, so if you're looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile's offers premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. Uh, by going online and eliminating traditional costs of retails, Mint Mobile passes the savings right to you. So you choose. Yeah. Uh, you get to choose the amount of monthly data that you want to use, and you stop paying for data that you never use. There Switch you to Mint Mobile, get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. <laughs> to get your new wireless plan uh, for just 15 beans and get the plan shipped directly to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah, they don't take cash at nice hotels. No, they don't do it at nice hotels. I remember the last time out. I had to put cash down, and I remember that was one of the lowest I've ever Do felt. they hand the cash back to you at the end? I can't even remember. They I crumble it up and throw it in your face. <laughs> <laughs> They take it to the roulette table and let it ride for me. We'll mail you a check. Uh, Dirt ball. Yeah. You don't need this right now by any <laughs> chance. You? You're like, what the fuck? Oh, it would have been ruined. It was in Atlantic City. I think we were going down there to, to do it. To no, do you didn't put up cash. I paid for you. But did, wasn't I in the process of putting up cash? You were going to. It was because I know got, it was crazy more. You, you got real fucking squirrely at the check in. <laughs> <laughs> like real fucking squirrely. I think it was 200 ahead. Like, you had to do two. I had to do two because we had two separate sure. rooms. And you were, you, I don't think you had it on your card. It was going to be like, no. Kippy, can you, I'll give you some cash. I can Venmo you 20. Which it's like, listen, when you, you, when you got poor comedians yes. coming to do your show for less than $200, yeah. I don't have the $200 to, for the like, security Oh, it's deposit. a free room. Is it, though? It's not. Yeah, yeah. and, and do, why can't that go on the fucking uh, on the card that's paying for the room? We're not Motley Crue. Like <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be throwing TVs out no, the you, windows. You pay your own incidentals. We don't want you charging a fucking bottle of water on there. Yeah. Uh, but this is, how, this is how poor we used it. We were. I was just listening to something else. We used to be very whatever you had. We split everything. Mm -hmm. It was very like, like our. We used to pool our money for funds. So I paid for your deposit. Like Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> we're meta. Two, two titans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we paid. Dude, we were so poor. I paid your two hundred. But I, the deal was when we get paid. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the 200 back from you. Yeah. Oh. Because it was I, was I didn't I needed it for the I know, home. Yeah, of course. So I'm like I'm taking 200 from you th tomorrow night or to whatever. And like, then I had to wait until you it had to cleared. wait until it cleared back into my account and yeah. then I sent you the money. Oh and dude, my. If I didn't God. wake up every morning at 901 <laughs> with a call from Foley. That hit yet? Fucking I called you like customer service. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. It's Henry. Sorry to bother you again. Stalking Just wanted me. to circle back on that 200. I can't tell you how many times I've called the hotels when I'm back home and gone like, I'm looking at my account. Do you think it'll? You think you can release that early? <laughs> I was just only there for like eight hours. I don't know yeah. what's going on. No, like they're, they're like, holding it back. Like they have a button right there. Yeah, like they, <laughs> the woman can just go. Oh, we'll we'll move that forward for you right ahead. But it's such bullshit, man. If you could take it in a split second. Why the fuck can't you well, the put it back? Their argument is they go, we release it right away. Ah, oh, it's, it's a, fucking bullshit. They go, it's on it's your bank. Get the, yeah, bank. the fuck yeah. out of here. Meanwhile, I have negative <laughs> $285 because of this thing, and I'm getting $34 <laughs> every day yeah, charged. Yeah. For that so pack it's of like, gum, and it'll cost you $36. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been oh, there. How many times has that happened where it's like, this Red Bull cost me $68? You know, like, in overdraft. I remember fees. I was on the phone with TD Bank, and I had just something hit my account and overdrafted me, and I thought I was in a different spot. And you know, like you can look and you have those. I thought there was two million in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is news to me. She goes. So I'm sitting there looking, and the pending charges are in a different color, like because they're pending. Yeah. And I'm going. That's gonna be there. It was like a, after a weekend, and there was a hundred charges. I'm like, that's gonna cost me. Yes. That's gonna cost me thirty. 
five hundred dollars in yes. over overdraft trust. So I call her. She's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. It's criminal." And I'm like, "I don't have." I'm like, "Well, then close the account." I'm like, "Just fucking close it." Lady. <laughs> I'll take my business elsewhere. And then I remember she had the balls. She was like, she waived all of them, but like five or something. I'm like, "All right, great." And she asked me, she said, do you want to open a savings account? I'm like, lady, I don't have any money. With you have what? all of my money. The negative, you're going to throw some of that red in there? <laughs> Can I get to shoot yeah, a let, nice... me, let me throw a negative 500, please. Yeah. Hey, what's the Roth IRA situation? I have so many times tried to just either, not flirt with, but like just sort of like speak sweetly to the woman on the phone to get overdraft fees. Yeah. Reverse, well, they can always like, wait. TD Bank will wait like, like two the, every six months. I was an artist. I'd be like, you put on some Barry White in the background. <laughs> not even, not like that, but I would just, I would like pull the heartstrings. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know, I use this card for emergencies, and I—I had—I had a big emergency last night at PJ O'Flanner. Here I am. Uh, yeah, she's like, you use it for—is all of your emergencies? Uh, fucking Chipotle. Like, what is? Uh, <laughs> I was feeding poor kids. But I would. I just. I've gotten so many overdraft fees reversed by just being nice to the woman or man on the mm-hmm. phone, and then yeah. just going like, "All right, I can." Well, TD, the, the the person you're talking to can wave two every six months. Then that next person yes. above them can wave another one or two up upon their discretion. Yes. Man. And remember that out there. Keep you going know to the higher up. So <laughs> yeah, that is. I know that's. Yeah, they can do it every six months. And if you have it, if they've already done it and you call that first level again and they say, well, you have had two remove in six months, you just say, I'm just I'm so can I please speak with your with your boss real mm-hmm. quick about it just because. I feel like I might be able to justify getting another one, and she, they'll send you to the next one. That guy's just like whatever, and he'll do yeah. like three. Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. shit. He's putting in his fucking sports bet for the fucking. Weekend. Hell yeah, that guy gets his balls broke. That, <laughs> that guy, lady, that's a fucking horrible. When I mean, you ask for the supervisor for. I, listen, if you go in nasty, you're not getting anything. Nope. You'll get the moral victory. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. Nothing. I don't find any victory in that. No. I like. I'd I just feel worse. Polite. Yeah. Afterwards. And then also, if you're polite and they're rude to you, you kind of have this long game win, knowing that they tape that and hopefully they use that someday for a bad example and yeah. they fire that woman. <laughs> Man, this guy's in it for the long haul. Yeah. I, I ran my mouth with like a third party for a hotel in Miami, and it wasn't their fault. And like after like all this time. I'm fucking, I got the manager, the fucking part, and I'm chewing it. This is right, and I'm not like that, but when you, you, you turn into that character on yes, the Yes, you phone. are, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we keep it all nice and hunky-dory, but. No, but I'm saying, like, I have to visit my sister. She's in the hospital. I mean, I'm spinning a, I guess that is. Yeah, this all checks all right, out. Yeah, you're, right, you're, fair you're, enough. you're an insane liar. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I apologize. It all makes sense. The hey, only time I've ever gotten that way was just recently when I was in the emergency room for like 16 hours. Oh, I saw you. Tw- I, I messaged you. Yeah. I saw yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the end of it. Oh, yeah. That's I right. was ready to. Why were you in there? I had a, a abscess uh, like on my face. Like grow. It's still like you could see like a little something here. It's like small. That's such a Potter feeling. thing. Dude. Had an abscess on my face. Yeah, was I don't it like know. An ingrown hair or something. It was. Yeah, that's what they say. They're like sometimes an ingrown hair creates. Uh... So you you gotta change your pillowcases. That shoot, maybe I don't know. Is that yeah. what makes an ingrown yeah. hair? Yeah. Okay. Gotta get a pillow too. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> I have one. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that could be it. Um, so that's what they said. Ingrown hair, perhaps. And I was there for 16 hours, though, and this thing kept getting, like, bigger as it was going. And I was starting to, like, be in a lot of pain. And after being in an ER for that long, I was getting cagey. Mm-hmm. And I, I told the guy, I go... Plus, I, that's no cigs for 16 hours. Well, no, I was going outside smoking But you realize that's You were not, going outside smoking cigs at the ER? Because here's the thing. The ER is so... <laughs> yeah, a lot. With your butt out of the... <laughs> what, are they <laughs> handy a little buzzer like in TGI no, Fridays? <laughs> He's got the IV machine. No, dude, get this. We'll let you know when the doctor's ready. Because of COVID and because of overcrowding, the waiting room for the ER is outside. We were sitting in the ambulance bay. Oh, wow. My God. And what? so uh, then you go, like, the next step is, like, they bring you inside. They put the bracelet around you. But you know you're not getting called. So, like, I would just step it out and smoking cigs. I was so annoyed by the end of it. I was smoking cigs, like, in the ambulance bay, just being yeah, like, yeah. I didn't, they usually have to go to the street or whatever. I was like, nope. And they did. They head out the door. Yeah, I got. I was like, literally, like, I'm not missing my fucking name. So then, by the end of it, though, I said to the security guard, I go, Psycho. I go, you're. I know you have nothing to do with this. You're just keeping people 
uh, you know, calm here or whatever, or like throwing people out who are psychos. But I'm going to tell you this. But I'm crazy. If I don't, <laughs> if they don't call me soon, I'm going to go in the parking lot and cut it out myself. And then when I'm bleeding out there by the ambulances, that's when they'll give me a bed. And he was like, Chill out, man. I'll get you. <laughs> hey, take I'll it get easy. you in there. <laughs> I, I just said it really calm to him, though. Like, it, yeah. I felt like I was getting forgotten. Like, it was like you weren't. That was like during the one of one of the biggest waves of the pandemic. It wasn't. Here's the thing: the ER at this. You have hobo jaw. That's was, <laughs> that's what it was. They're Caught de- it riding trains. Yeah, they're dealing with fucking people with strokes and heart attacks, and probably a flooded ICU. I, all I saw was a bunch of hobos coming in there, taking up beds, and. <laughs> Probably not gonna. When they asked me for like address so they can send the medical bill, I'm like, "What's his address? <laughs> send it to that guy. Where are you sending to him? Yeah, I don't think he's getting. You one. have health insurance? I I have. It's just started tomorrow. Is tomorrow the first? <laughs> yeah, mine too. Yes. Yeah. yeah no, I had to. What do... you were off the grid for a minute? I don't want to talk about it publicly. Yeah, I was off the grid for like eight years. Yeah, you just got it. Oh yeah, I jumped. Year. Yeah, I just got. Listen, I'm hey, dirt bike number one. Right Isn't here. it annoying though that you can't just go to the store and buy like health insurance? Do you know what I mean? Like you have to do this whole thing where it's like open enrollment time. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a fucking horse shit scam yeah, that is. Man. I'm going to get rid of it, too, as soon as I clean myself up a little bit. I'm going to go, all right, now we can live without it. So as you get all the abscesses out? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cut them all out of me. Train a couple more things. I think about that, too. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the big run of, 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 of appointments and stuff like that. And, yeah, well, you think once you get a clean bill, you get out. Because it's crazy. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's bananas. Yeah. It's country is something else. <laughs> USA. <laughs> <laughs> Take that commie shit back to the coast, meanwhile, will you? <laughs> meanwhile, he's, meanwhile, he's threatening security guards. <laughs> yeah. At the ER. <laughs> At the ER. Uh, I didn't threaten him. The actually guy was a, he listened to my show and I just told him, I'm like, here's the deal. He knew me from my show. And I go, here's the deal. This is what I'm, I'm losing my mind. Man, talk about not meeting your heroes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> hey, I used to listen to Potter until I saw him in a parking lot threatening hey. to stab himself. <laughs> You're yeah. a fan of the show? I'm going to slit my throat. Hey, you got any... You performing anywhere local coming up? <laughs> Listen here. I'll get you. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to steal your gun. Hey, you going to be at the store later tonight? I'm going to cut my throat open <laughs> with a cold razor. Steal man. that ambulance. Drive it through the front of the hospital. <laughs> like the Joker. <laughs> so what'd they do? They drained it? Oh, yeah. Did they give you an antibiotic for it? Oh, tons. The whole I got two, actually. And I uh, they gave me some Norcos as well. Norcos? Oh, yeah. What's Norcos? That's just your run-of-the-mill pain opiate opioid. <laughs> Norcos, I've never heard of that. Is that a Norco term? No, it's uh um I work I used to work for a doctor doing like transcribing, which I was terrible at. I was like falling asleep when I would type it and shit. Like it, I was bad. What but like a court reporter? It, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, doctors you, he, have that. A doctor talks into a thing and then you type it up for his reports. Plenty of them have it. What do they call them? Yeah, Norco. Yeah, it's called Norco. Yeah, it's just a painkiller. It's I, it's hydrocodone. hydrocodone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. Vicodin. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the it. difference is between the Norco and a Vicodin and a... Probably 20 it's bucks. It's like the <laughs> 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 10 bucks if you got 20, it on you. 20 bucks by the ambulance bay? <laughs> I would imagine. It's so funny, though. I had to go back in two days later to the ER again for the follow-up. Didn't take quite hey, as sorry long. Sorry about yesterday. Hey, gotta, <laughs> yeah. Things got a little out of hand. What did you like threaten to do hours. when you walked back in the second time? Well, this was so, it was like, I'm sitting there and uh, I go, by the way, uh, <laughs> those Norcos, they're gone. I mean, they're, I ran out. They're I like, dropped them. They fell in a the sewer. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, they were like, well, we can only give you that many for like 40 days or something like that. So they, she's like, I can't give you any more. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really need them. I just oh no shit. She knew that. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I got a big weekend coming up. Uh, <laughs> I got yeah. a bachelor party for my buddy Steve. I did. This was all very traumatizing. <laughs> you can make good with a couple of those Norcos. <laughs> yeah. I, told I, you, got, I told the guys I was packing. One of the girls on OnlyFans uh, <laughs> told her I was norked up. I thought, I thought I could give her one. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. This one's from Rory. Do you currently only have one light bulb in a multiple light bulb fixture? <laughs> Example, one light bulb in a ceiling fan that takes three That's bulbs. That's got to be your whole apartment. Well, I have... I'll say <laughs> this. I have electricity? I have a ceiling fan that has like four, and uh-huh. only two of them are in operation. Are the other two still in there, though? 
The old Bobs, yeah. The, there's okay. I moved in. And That's they were a little like that. better. I feel. I moved in and they were like that, and I just never replaced them. Mm-hmm. What's the dust situation on that ceiling fan? You know what's so funny? <laughs> As a blind man, I had no. I I just didn't even think about the dust on the ceiling <laughs> fan, and then I looked at it, and it was like there were. Yeah. Uh, feathers coming off the side. <laughs> like I went up and uh, I went up on a step stool. From it. I went up on a step stool. I go, oh my lord, the ceiling fan has. But you know what it is? I run it. Yeah, constantly. I, like his, I like his old lady response. Oh my lord, there's a chicken in my apartment. <laughs> I usually run it constantly though, so it usually was always just like go go go. Even when I was gone, it was yeah. just like someday it'll just fly off there. I'm sure. But then I, you know, once it sits there for a while. It gets like tails. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, yeah. The ceiling fan, when it's done right, it's pretty classy. But when you get into a situation like that, like I bet you your light fixture shakes yeah, when yeah. it spins yeah. around. Well, because of the wooden thing on yeah, the chain. Yeah, it's uh, like a Huey. The person that lives above it, so like they stomp around. So like every time they do my things, like it like rattles the ceiling fan. I'm waiting for this thing to fly off and kill sure. me someday. <laughs> There's one of my mom's house that hasn't that just doesn't shut off. For whatever reason, wow! You can, the, 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 the switch on the wall doesn't matter. The, the it's strings. just been cooking for like fourteen years. It's like wow. a grease vent. <laughs> just waiting for it to go down someday. Yeah, something's gonna happen at some point. Absolutely, uh, a lot of shit. Well, nowadays, when you have those the, the the ceiling lights that have two sockets, if you throw one of those fucking halogen lamps or whatever in there, you don't need two. No, no. such a nice mood too. When you were a kid, uh, did you ever throw things into the ceiling fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was For my sure. favorite. Find some mosquitoes and shit in there oh, that yeah. got lost. Well, oh, I just threw, like, pillows and shit. I didn't throw, like, animals or anything. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the ceiling fan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. While course. it's, like, cranking, you just oh, fucking yeah. throw shit up and break it. It was really cool when it would go up, hit the ceiling, and come down. And you're like, what just happened? Oh, yeah, it would go through it. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun games. Yeah. That's a real, like, when you're just a kid playing with the ceiling fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a trash. Breaking shit. Just yeah. <laughs> literally just breaking shit. Yeah. Breaking uh, shit was fun. Yeah, it was the best. We talked about it before, but I think the those long, like, tube lamps. Oh, the, like, like lightsabers? Yeah, fucking hitting each other with those things. Yeah. That's a good fucking time. Dude, it's every so dirt, dangerous. Every no. dirt, every wait, is it? You, you got to bul- wear goggles. Bulbs? Oh, I never wore talking goggles. About the- we were behind, we were at the loading dock of a shop <laughs> right. Well, I would I had my I had my natural goggles. <laughs> I had my natural on. Rex specs on. Yeah, yeah, we weren't in double there. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're <laughs> like, green jumpsuits. <laughs> <laughs> those, those things are full of like phosphorus or some shit. Yeah, it's bad news. The yeah. wrestlers hit each other. We're with here. Them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're talking about, right? Yeah, right. I guess. Or, bulbs. or four high kids behind a supermarket. <laughs> You know what became real trashy is that one stand uh, light that had the little dimmer on it. It was black. Remember, it shined up. Oh, yeah. It was like, yeah. Every slime ball had that in their apartment mm-hmm. fucking in the, in the early oh, Trying okay. to get laid. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it yeah, had yeah. the dimmer on it. It was like gold trim on it a little bit. Yeah. Or what like the knob called? was gold. Standing lamps? Yeah, standing lamp, I guess, probably. Oh, the ones. Yeah, and it was like the bowl. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I had one of those. That was my only. P- I had that. <laughs> a television, and an air mattress in my Cleveland apartment for the entirety that I lived there. That was, but it was only a year. Richest man in Cleveland. (laughs) Yeah, it was only a year, but I didn't, uh, I looked like a psycho. And then it was, it would come apart when you moved. He's fucking nuts. So you like take, you screw off the top and then you could screw the middle up. Like a sniper rifle. Fold up. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Like a pool He moves in, he's got a briefcase and an air mattress. (laughs) Yeah. It would fit into my, and then I'd have to put it in my car. And <laughs> Just use it as a flashlight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, let's do a couple more here. Um, this one's just funny. This is from Tim. Uh, any of your social media friends actively posting online within a prison? Because that's a really big thing now. They all have they all have cell phones and access somehow. I think I mean dancing in jail on TikTok is huge. <laughs> yeah, prison or TikTok is like a real thing. Some of them are like gourmet chefs. You know how they do like food TikTok, yeah, making, like Chi Chi and shit. Yeah, yeah, they're doing like this is how I make tacos, mm-hmm. and they're like doing all this shit in the it's, toilet. It's crazy how many people are, how many grown men are in prison, so they're criminals, and they're just like doing doing like dance trends. It's wild. The only person, and I don't even know him well, but I, I rode the school bus with him. I rode the school bus with a guy who got arrested at the insurrection, uh, or because of the insurrection, I should say. And uh, he's Tomato, in jail tomato. Now. He's a guy. He's like, also, he makes these headlines. This kid from my hometown that I rode the school bus with, 
When you were a kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to make that clear. No, yeah. he made, And so he makes uh, all these headlines. He just made the headlines because he's trying to get, like, he's banned from the internet forever. Like, he can't have a Facebook account. He can't because he's susceptible to, like... Who made the ban? Like, fa- or the government? Like, the government. Yeah, because he was an insurrectionist at the Capitol. Oh, jeez. So they're like, you're not allowed to use Twitter. You're not allowed to use... You can't read news. Stuff like that. Can't like, read news. It's like, it's a really <laughs> wild sentence. But he's trying to get a portion of it appealed so he could just have Tinder. And, like, fuck women on Tinder. Hey, Judge, I'm trying to get my wiener wet over here. It, like, was a big <laughs> headline. They're like, an insurrectionist is trying to... Amend his sentencing as he's wow. trying to meet women on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Why they gotta have Tinder some version of that for the insurrectionist? I mean, they're not this this guy's sentence is he's not allowed to like use the internet. Any apps or anything. Is yeah. that a real thing? Can they do that? I, the gov- federal government start throwing their weight around. Yikes. Yeah. Then you end up in internet cafes and stuff like that. I don't that. that's the thing. It's like Next it's thing you know, so you got bizarre. a predator fucking drone flying over Yeah, it. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Minority report. <laughs> Checking your little spiders are looking in your eyes. <laughs> Just trying to get a Tinder account, man. Um, <laughs> all right, this one's a home run. Have you? This is from TJ. Have you ever planned the days you go on vacation so your paycheck would hit halfway through it? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> uh, every fucking vacation. I never even risk taking a vacation, but I used to. We were. I was just talking about this with my buddy Matt Wayne, who used to do open mics with me back in Buffalo. I used to get paid by like uh, bi weekly or yeah. whatever. So every Tuesday we'd go do this show, and. Every time you'd see me, I'd go, this is a Power this Tuesday. A, yeah, this is a good We'd one. we call it Power Tuesdays because I just got paid, and I didn't have to pay my rent on that one. Mm-hmm. So I'd be like, we got the, the goods here. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Now we can rage. Yeah, that buy... That, the, the bi-weekly the, non-rent payment. Oh, oh, yeah, that that's middle your of the month. butter right that there. That fucking hits. Di- and every time you're like, I'm going to save half of this. That's nope. never. That's the good times right yeah. there. Oh, sometimes you get out of pocket, and you do that overdraft, and then the rent comes, and you're like... Well, we're going to be short. Yeah. Start fucking. Get a sticky wicket there. <laughs> Let me ask you both this. I'm listening. It's probably going back a few years, so you'll have to think a little bit. Do you remember the last time that the norm was cashing your check? Uh, yeah. I used to not even. I had a bank account with M&T that they were coming after me for overdraft coming fees. After me. And so I couldn't open another one. And I just didn't. I, I thought that I couldn't open a bank account anywhere. Because like they M&T would, was talking to Chase. Yes. They, they don't come at like and, the Pinkertons. And so I would do. I would go to uh, one of those check cashing places sure. and, pay a, yeah. and pay a dollar to get it instantly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 100%. I, my last. I worked up until last March, I think. So, like, yeah, f- not even a full year ago. I would go. There would be time. To- I would. Half the times I would deposit, half the times I would go to, because it was written on a Chase account or a Citibank, I would go to a Citibank. Sometimes they give you shit with that. I, a lot of times I do with this, this branch. This is a real sleazeball episode. I, I know. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ins and outs of how to, be a, how to survive as a dirt Oh, bank. my God. I mean, there was like four years where I just didn't have a bank account. Yeah, I didn't have one Because I was forever. scared that they were going to like, they all knew that I couldn't open a bank account with M and T. Yeah, me too. I figured. Word so on the streets, Potter's over there at Chase. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh him, don't let him uh, come in by. Yeah. The tellers are calling each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Potter's <laughs> floating checks again. About five seven, five eight glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's a son of a bitch right there. Mentioned something about Power Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> He has to talk to my supervisor for no reason. <laughs> yeah, no shit. The cashing of the check, man. Big. I mean, very fucking big. On yeah, a Friday? Yeah, of course. Woo! Well, sometimes I would have to get that rent due on time. I couldn't deposit it because that was, you know, if it was a Friday, that was a business day or two. They hold so it in my that account. fucking bullshit. So yep. I would go to Citibank. It's 2021. Lightning quick we should be doing. Cash yeah, we could put check. half of it in, but no. Yeah, we'll clear good. 200. Hey, but yeah. it's only 205. Let's go. Oh, yeah. No <laughs> shit. And I need that five. Yeah, they'll clear. Th- 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 I'll be dead by then. What I do you know. mean clear 200? I rem- I'll never forget this. I was at the, this is like not that long ago, a couple of years ago. I was in L.A. And they have all these clubs outside of L.A., like the Ontario Improv, Irvine Improv. So I was at one of these, Lev- Levity Live, maybe in Oxnard. And I knew I was going to get a check, and I'd have to Uber home because I couldn't take the train home because the train shuts down. So the Uber home is going to be a little pricey. And I, get my, I know I'm going to get a check at the club, 
So I needed to deposit the check so that the Uber would go Ooh, without yeah. overdraft. Sure. Mm-hmm. So at my bank, you can deposit a check and the funds go in instantly no matter what time. But I didn't realize that's because that's my like home bank. So I'm at a Chase bank that I walked like two or three miles to oh, from the club, deposit the check. It goes, it'll be available on Monday. And oh. I go, so I'm still overdrafting this Uber. After all that, I'm still overdrafting this Jeez. Uber. It's like I'm staying in Oxnard Uber. till Monday. <laughs> but what I, I, I learned with, now. What I learned with Uber, lamp. though, is if you when you do Uber off the hours, that charge doesn't go. Th- like oh, if you, yeah. you can do it through PayPal. PayPal will kick it till Monday. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, Uber... Sometimes you can get away with that too. Lyft is real stingy. Lyft fucking takes it out. They do a pre-approved. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, we're gonna you, hold thirty-two if, bucks. If you on canceled there. a ride, it's what are you doing? It's very much like the hotel. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah, but pay. Yeah, I learned pay putting things on PayPal pushes them to the business days. Just yeah. so now you're the you're twisting it on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a couple of days <laughs> to get your affairs in order. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I remember I didn't use Uber for a long time because I had an outstanding. And every time I would go to it, they'd be like, ah, ah, ah. Really? Oh, yeah. There's outstanding Ubers? Oh, yeah. If you don't if you don't close out the last one, they don't let you use a new one. <laughs> I'm banned from Lyft. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Writing bad checks. What happened with, there has something happened with you very recently where I was talking to him. He's like, I'm on the phone with Venmo. I'm like, that's the worst sentence ever. <laughs> you should never be on the phone with Venmo. Well, I think I told you about my Venmo thing last time where I was. I'm in credit card fraud against oh, myself. Oh, you did? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I had a yeah, phone yeah. call with Venmo. They called me. Venmo called me. <laughs> credit card fraud against myself. I really screwed that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, pot, Josh Potter, Inc. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Gang, Mr. Josh Potter, the host of the Josh Potter Show. Buddy, what do you got coming up you want the folks to know? Oh, boy. Well, I got a Patreon out there just like you folks. And uh, Check just, it out. Get on it. Five bucks to start. That's it. That's all for now. Once we get cooking and uh, get some more things up there, maybe we'll change the tiers and things like that. But come on over. It's uh, been pumping out content like crazy. And, of course, the Josh Potter Show is every Tuesday. Look for it on YouTube. The channel's just the Josh Potter Show. It's easy to find. And as far as gigs go, I'll be in uh, Irvine Improv on the 11th. I'll be in San Diego on the 23rd. So just uh, go to my socials and check that all out. Yes, sir, buddy. One of the best, one of the funniest. We love you. Thank you so much. It's for- so uh, awesome to be in the studio, too, for the no, first, the first time. time in the studio. Here, Tony. We were t- fucking Zoom and then uh, yeah, Tony's timeshare. Third, third time, time share, and, yeah. uh, and the first time here. So that's great. Love it. We appreciate it, buddy. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, at Kevin Ryan on all social media. Come to a fucking show. We're all over the fucking road. Check out the Patreon, the whole nine yards, YouTube. Oh, also the Clips channel. We just launched the Clips channel. Check that out. Uh, it'll be in the details. Gang, we love you. T-Bone, we'll see you next week. Peace.